you are here and you actually followed along with me, you are a folding professional. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue Mass Space. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. So today we will be folding some baby onesies. Basically at the end of the video, you're gonna be a folding onesies pro or a pro at folding onesies. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So now let's go to my folding table so we can start folding. Let's go. So as always, you are going to lay your onesie flat. How cute is this onesie? I think this onesie is for three months to six months, I think. But this works for any size onesie. So first things first, you're gonna bring in the sleeves. So it's important to bring in the sleeves because what you're doing is try to create a rectangle. I feel like that's the secret to folding. It's creating a rectangle. So as you can see, I mean, you know, you can see it a little bit, just a little bit. So anyway, next you're going to take the bottom and then you're gonna fold it all the way to the top. And the goal is to make sure that, I mean, this is what you're trying to create essentially. <laughs> so let me take it this way. So now that you have this smaller but wider rectangle, you're going to then take the bottom, the folded portion, and you're gonna bring it to the top like so to create this thin rectangle. As you can see, I love rectangles, I do. <laughs> All right, so next you are going to then flip it over because you want to expose the part that will be folded inwards or will be inside the fold. You don't want, of course, this part to be seen. So starting from the left, you're going to literally just fold it over once and twice. And you're gonna end up with this beautiful rectangle. So this type of fold is great if you have a small drawer that will hold your onesies or if you're sharing a drawer. So for instance, maybe your onesies will be also sitting in a drawer with like maybe pants or like baby tops or even diapers. I think this is a great folding technique for those type of spaces. But the next one can be for a much larger drawer. So let's do it. So just like the first fold, I'm gonna start sideways and then I'm going to turn it around to face myself. All right, so first and foremost, you are going to lay it flat on a flat surface. You know that was coming. After that, you know, of course, just, you know, take out the wrinkles, take out whatever. You want it to be as smooth as possible because your goal is to create a tight fold. Tight things are great. So next, just as before, you're gonna take in the sleeves. Of course, you're trying to start, you know, create that rectangle. So next, you're going to take the bottom portion and then you're going to fold it about here. So this is what, 25%, I guess, 25%. So you're gonna fold it here because your goal is to meet the mid section like so. So let me just kind of play with that a little bit. Right, there we go. So next you're gonna fold it over meeting the top portion like so. I'm gonna face it towards me so you can see it perfectly. So basically what you're doing is you're covering the entire neckline. <laughs> then you're gonna turn it over of course. Flatten it out a little bit. Y'all know that was coming. <laughs> then you're going to take the left side. You're going to bring it to the mid section like so. Do you know what's gonna happen next? Well, if you know, then let's do it. But if you don't know, you're gonna take the right side and you're gonna literally put it in this pocket. So literally, I'm just putting it in the pocket because as I was folding, I was creating a pocket. Bam! Then you're gonna turn it over and we are done. So this is a much wider rectangle. Um, and she isn't, she, <laughs> she isn't going anywhere. She is folded. This is probably my favorite fold because it's indestructible in a way. I can literally throw this at someone and it won't unravel. Of course, not too hard because it will, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it is in there. This is great for small drawers, but this is great for large drawers. You can actually add more onesies in a drawer with this technique because it's a lot thinner. But 
small, large, medium, whatever kind of drawer you have, this is still a great fold for that drawer and for your onesies really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> So the last folding technique allows you to see the different graphics on the onesies if it sits in the front. So yeah, it's a little different, but essentially it's the same-ish, ish. <laughs> also, let me mention the onesie is facing downward. You got to start with the onesie facing downward before you start. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Here she is. So again, just like before, you are going to bring in the sleeves, but this time we're gonna do it a little different. <laughs> so you're going to take this side, or any side really, of the sleeve, and you're just gonna bring it in about yay inward. See, so the goal for this is, you see how I'm creating this line? It's like a line right here. It helps, it's going to help. Next, you're gonna do the same to the other side. So basically you take this side and you're gonna just bring it in. You can overlap if you need to. And you see how, like, look at, oh my gosh, look at that. So next you're gonna take the bottom of the onesie and you're gonna fold it upwards until you meet the sleeves, like so. So basically take the bottom, meet the sleeves, just like this. And then, let me see if I can, yep, I can turn it this way. I do play with it a little bit because the goal is to keep the, these parts or the parts of the onesies inside of the rectangle it makes sure that the fold is as tight and clean so next you're going to take the folded portion and you're going to bring it all the way to the top like so creating this square i guess this is a square hello you're going to flip it over and you are done look at this beautiful fold ah oh, this is gorgeous so here she is. I, I gotta be a little delicate because I don't want her to lose her shape, but here she is. If you fold all of your onesies this way, then you'd be able to see all of the frontal graphics easily because in the other folds, they're kind of hidden inside the fold. So it basically just depends on what you prefer, really. I'm gonna do another one just to show you guys what it looks like. So basically, fold this side, you see? Oof. Straight, fold this side, it overlaps. Take the bottom, fold it till you meet the sleeve, tuck these, tuck these good girls inside, and then you basically meet the top, and you're done. Kind of like this. So basically, if it's sitting in a drawer, it would sit like this, and then the others will sit on top of it. So basically, when you open that drawer, all you see is the front part of the onesies compared to like this part, I guess, of the onesie or the back of the onesie, really. There we go. All right, guys, so if you're here and you actually followed along with me, you are now a folding professional. So give yourself a pat on the back. You did it. You know how to fold onesies. You are the folder of the family. <laughs> but don't tell anyone, because then they're gonna want you to fold their clothes. We don't do none of that. Anywho, let me know in the comment section below which was your favorite fold and let me know if you want me to fold different type of onesies. I do have a long sleeve onesie and long pant onesie. So I'd love to show you guys how I like to fold that as well. So let me know below. All right, so you already know what time it is. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, of course, and share this video, share it. Share the video. <laughs> I feel like there's so many people out there that need my help. Maybe. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.